Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at how to create a pie chart in Excel to help display the data you have in your spreadsheet visually. Let's jump in. Using my basic spreadsheet of different candy types and the amount they sold, we begin by highlighting all of our data. As a quick tip, Excel gives you this icon here in the bottom right called Quick Analysis that recommends different charts to you based on the data you have. If you notice, I can click pie chart here and Excel will even give me a preview of how that will look. But normally when we're going to insert a pie chart, we head to the insert tab and our ribbon, select the pie chart icon, and we'll start off with the 2D pie chart. After inserting the chart, we can resize it as desired, as well as relocate it to a different spot on our spreadsheet. Another great feature of pie charts in Excel is that they will dynamically update based on your data. So for example, if I change the gummies number, which is the blue section to 200, you'll notice the pie chart automatically updates based on the new data. When working with a pie chart, you generally want your data to display from largest to smallest clockwise starting from the top of your chart. In order to set this up, you can click within your data, and then within the data tab, you can click the Z to A sort option, which will sort from largest to smallest, and now your pie chart has been updated. In order to change the title of your pie chart, you can simply click within the title section and begin typing your desired title. While your pie chart is selected, you can go to the chart design tab at the very top and select from a variety of chart styles that Excel has built in for you. If you'd like, you can also go to the change colors dropdown located here and select from different color options that Excel has built in as well. If you'd like to change the color of one of your pie chart slices, you can double click that slice until the three dots appear only around that section. In this case, I chose Taffy. Now you can go to the Format tab at the very top, open up the Shape Fill dropdown, and select the new fill color that you'd like it to be. And you'll notice the legend below updates as well. If you'd like to enhance your pie chart further by adding data labels, you can click this plus icon off to the top right, select the arrow next to Data Labels, and then you can hover over each one of these options to see which one suits your view best. In this case, I'll choose data call out. While I like this view, I want to change the percentages back to the overall quantity sold. So what I can do again is click the plus icon, click the arrow for data labels, and click more options. Now I can check mark the box for value and uncheck percentage. Now I can close the format data labels dialog box. And now that Excel is displaying visually what each pie slice represents, I can delete the legend at the bottom by clicking it and selecting the delete key. As a final tip, I'd like the largest section of taffy to be separated a bit from the remainder of the chart. In order to do that, I can again double click the slice for taffy, right click that section and select format data point. Here in the point explosion options, I can increase this to 5% and that separates the taffy pie slice from the remainder of the chart. Team, I hope you found these tips helpful today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.